There is an ongoing debate about the nature of the Swartzengi volcanic uh, system, the style of the eruption, and the depth of the magma. And this has become such a hot topic that uh, Icelandic geologists are now debating this in the public. One of the best celebrities who actually is now uh, presenting the facts to the public is Professor Thorwald and Thordarsson. He, he has been arguing that since the first eruption in the December 2023 to the February eruption, the strength of this eruption in the source sinking volcanic system has been reduced. So we expect that this eruption in the March 16, 2024, be nothing different to what it was before that. It seems it doesn't turn out like that. It's now five days past, and we have yet the eruption going strong. In the past, it just lasted one, two days, at the most three days. This eruption is different. Even the land uplift, based on the GPS data that we have, in the Sorsengi, seems it has reached an equilibrium so far. It may change in future. It means the input of the magma and output of it into the Sorsengi system are equal. The deep reservoir in the Sorsengi practically works like a tap. This is the analogy Professor Thordorsson used. And I would say that it's more likely like a bladder. It takes from a deeper source the magma and then releases it as a valve toward the uh, shallower depth. This is how it can be, a magma reservoir on top of the mantle, a little bit evolved magma, but not as much as what is near the surface. As it rises, of course, chemical composition of it changes. Also, believe it or not, it will get eroded. The crystal's shape and the size will differ. So when it rises near the surface, it can be a different magma to what it is started from. If we have found such a evidence in the magma which is erupting now so far, we may actually find a hint for the existence of a deeper reservoir being the source of this most recent eruption. And what is seeing as a flow of the magma will be similar to what we have seen in the, for example, Fekredesvio, Gellingadeler, Meridaler, and Little Kotor volcanoes. So far, they look similar, but we are yet at the early stages of the eruption. We have to wait and see. If it lasts more than a few days, more than a week probably, we can have a better picture of what is going on.